everyone, it's author Sarah Crawford. I'm here today with a book tube, author tube, rants and thoughts video. I don't really know what it is. Okay, so Stephanie Meyer, Twilight author, today she announced that in August, the Twilight novel Midnight Sun is going to be coming out. Now, this is basically Twilight from Edward's perspective. She started uh, working on this after she finished Breaking Dawn, but then in 2008 it was leaked when she was like halfway through. So she got really upset and said she wasn't going to finish it. And she even put the leaked copy up on the internet. That was only like half of the book and it was not the final version. That was 2008. So Twilight fans have been waiting 12 years for this book. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was super excited about this announcement. Yes, I am a Twilight fan. I know the books are not the best thing when it comes to feminism and they're not, they have a lot of issues when it comes to the writing. But first of all, this was Stephanie Meyer's first book. Okay, now thank God nobody saw my first book except for some of my friends at the time and a few literary agents that I sent it to who promptly rejected it. Everyone's first book, especially, will have a lot of writing issues. So I don't think that's something she should get a lot of hate for. And the feminism thing, yes, okay, there are issues. Yes, it might be problematic in some ways, but I think the bigger thing here that people need to focus on is that it's a story that was wildly popular that a lot of people resonated with. If we think about the purpose of stories, I would say the main objective is to give people an escape from their lives. When I read Twilight, I was going through a very difficult time in my life. I was having some, some family stuff going on. I was having a relationship issue. It just wasn't good. And when I was reading those books, I didn't think about all of that. So for that reason, they will always have a special place in my heart. Another thing, Anybody who writes YA or enjoys reading YA ha owes something to those books and to Stephanie Meyer. Because before those books came out, YA wasn't really what it is today. I mean, yes, it was a genre, it was in the bookstore, it had a section, but it wasn't as big as it is now. You didn't have as many best-selling YA authors. All of us who write YA, we just owe so much to these books. I made another video about five years ago about Stephanie Meyer and about the gender-swapped Twilight Life and Death book that came out. Wasn't as big of a fan of that book Midnight Sun I am excited about. I did read the leaked version on her website a really long time ago and I thought it was super compelling. I thought it was um, more interesting than Bella's perspective in Twilight even. As an author I really enjoy um, you know looking at stories from different perspectives different points of view, like that's something I'm really into. So I feel like I'm gonna enjoy reading the book for that reason and for the, you know, the nostalgia factor. But this announcement from Stephanie Meyer has got people in a tizzy on Twitter. There are so many people 
coming out of the woodwork to be like, oh my God, this book is so problematic. Okay, yes, I understand your arguments, but like, just don't read it. Let people enjoy things. If you think there are problems, you write your own story that doesn't have any problems. I would love to read that. And you know, life is hard right now. We've got coronavirus, we're all quarantined, we've got killer hornets. What is going on with the world? So if some people can just be a little excited that a book they've potentially been waiting for for 12 years is actually coming out, like just let people be excited. I promise you it's okay. So I guess those are my thoughts on the whole Stephanie Meyer, Midnight Sun thing. What about you guys? Are you planning to read the book? Were you a fan of Twilight? Were you not a fan of Twilight? I would love to chat it up with you guys about Stephanie Meyer, or Twilight, or books, or anything really. So just leave me a comment. We'll chat it up. All right, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about books, writing, music, whatever randomness I want to talk about. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!